Google out with another new announcement as the AI coding space heats up. Deirdre Bosa breaking the news here exclusively for today's Tech Check. Deirdre. Hey, morning, sir. So Google is tapping Vibe Code startup Replit in a multi-year partnership. It means that Replit will lean further into Google Cloud and Google stays Replit's primary cloud provider. Now, for Google, this is all about giving Gemini 3 a front door into how people are actually building software in the AI age. For Replit, this is about going up market, more of an enterprise footprint. Now, this isn't just a crowded space. This is one of the hottest in AI right now. Vibe coding is when you tell an AI what you want, and it simply writes the code for you. Now, Cursor, another big name, is exploding alongside Anthropic's Claude. OpenAI has built coding, its tool Codex, straight into GPT. And Microsoft still owns the installed base with GitHub Copilot. Now, Google has its own AI coding tools, but they aren't the starting point for most people building with AI. Replit arguably has the broadest funnel in vibe coding, the place where non-technical teams they go to build, which are increasingly the ones that are driving AI adoption inside of big companies, not necessarily the software engineers. So think marketing or finance staff trying to spin up internal AI tools all on their own. New data from Ramp, it shows that Replit had the fastest new customer growth among software vendors last month. Google, meanwhile, is adding new customers and spend faster than any other company on Ramp's platform. So you put those two together, you get a clearer picture of why both companies see an opportunity here. Now, all of this, guys, sets the stage for Gemini 3, a model that is putting pressure on open AI, but still needs real distribution to actually matter. Most people, they won't just switch because a benchmark says that they should. Replit gives at least the coding part of Gemini 3 an access into real world, not just research labs. Guys, I will speak exclusively to Google Cloud President Matt Renner and Replit CEO Amjad Massad shortly. Be sure to tune into our second uh, Tech Check segment for their color on the deal. D, meantime, I'm wondering what you make of Dario Amodi. He's been so outspoken about AI's impact in the future on employment. And then, of course, yesterday, taking it to unnamed rivals <laughs> who he argues are, are YOLOing through this process. Yeah, I mean, it's so the space that Anthropic plays in the AI landscape is so interesting. They're the safety guys, right? They basically left, Dario and his sister left OpenAI so that they could develop AI responsibly. That was sort of the early era of this race, but now it's sort of growth at all costs. And so he hasn't in here to say or imply maybe that some are spending irresponsibly or it's FOMO, um, where, you know, they have a proposition to increasingly enterprise AI and safe AI. And both of those go hand in hand, right? Enterprise wants to make sure that their, that their AI is being developed responsibly. So it was very in tone what we hear from him. The thing that I thought was interesting, Carl, was how he talked about these scaling laws. It's been a debate for many months now, I think a year in the AI space. We were talking about this first last year at this time about how maybe we have maxed out, we've hit a wall and that the models aren't going to get like hugely smarter, just incrementally smarter. And what he said is that there's still a lot of room to go. Um, weighing in on that debate, it feels to be heading that way. So maybe in the next year, it shows us that we could get some major breakthroughs. Is vibe coding, I'm, I'm just thinking, going through the vibe coding part of the story. Is that, is that like a euphemism for not having human software engineers <laughs> anymore? Yeah. It, it's kind of exactly what it sounds like. You code base, based on vibe. So you tell the chat bot, this is the app that I want to create. It has to feel this way. It has to do this. And the AI just goes and does it for you. Also known as AI first coding. And this is just a huge industry, right? You see it within all the major tech companies, engineers relying on AI to actually code for them. But you still have to be fairly sophisticated. What Replit does is actually lets like, consumers and non-technical teams vibe code themselves. So like if you're in sales or marketing, you could say, I need this application to interact with my customers. Can you create it for me? And they can actually like create their own software. 